Okay. <clears throat> Hello and welcome everyone. Sorry for the delay. I know I was supposed to be back. This is like the longest 20 minutes right of your lifetime. Okay. So I had a phone call, so I had to deal with that. Um, I went ahead and played around a little bit with the molds that I just got in. Just made a couple pieces. And because I was too busy on the phone, I got some spillage. Um, so we'll play around with some of these pieces. And um, here's the book. Hello. Hello, hello, Miss Young Sue. How are you? We were on earlier and we missed you. We missed you. What's up? It's starting to look at you. Oh. Okay. Okay. So these, like I said, are the molds, and I got a couple of these pipe ones. This is from the Katie Sue pipe molds. Um, and I'm not saying I'm going to use pipe on this one. I don't know what I'm going to use, to be honest. But I just basically I'm going to have a lot. Um, I'd say that little chain one's a little bit more intricate and you have to have a good balance hand. It's probably a lot easier. <clears throat> I'm going to try some um, because it's so intricate. I'm going to try some before we move on, of course. Clay. Hey, Aristi. All right, so I'm going to show you the one that we did the other yesterday. Look, she's still a little bit wet. my lighting Not sure why the lighting has gotten so so out of control here but you can see oops her face in there Maybe. Ah. the resolution hey hey miss Carrie you're working on a book? Awesome. Hey, Lulu. So she came out really good. So yes, you can use this as a mold. Um, I should have tried some resin. You know what? I had some resin here. Let me get some cups. Hold on. Let's try a little bit. I do want to just try just, um, let me get this one here at least, and this one because I did want to make some of this one. Yeah. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Hey, Debbie, how are you, hon? It's raining over here. It's so, I know you guys are probably saying, oh my God, why are you so excited about rain? I'm super excited about rain. I can't tell you why. It's because, well, I can tell you why. It's because we don't normally get too much rain here lately. It's been kind of dry and my vegetables need it. I'm going to use a little bit. This is just um, white aluminite resin, white resin. I'm gonna mix equal portions. All right, let me dust this one off a little bit.
Send you some rain. Absolutely not. <laughs> I'm going to be selfish about my rain. Absolutely not, Miss Debbie. I think this time I'm not normally a selfish person, but this time, Miss Debbie, I'm going to be selfish. Okay, I'm going to grab a little bit of this um, flower I had here. And, of course, people around here don't know how to drive around brain. Let's see how this one will work. I'm just going to dust off so that we can release it. All right, let me get my mold ready. Um, I think if I poured it into one of those little small delicate bottles or something, um, we can get these little fine areas or maybe something with a sprout. I just don't have that right now. So I'm just going to do it with um, my paper mm -hmm. clay. Oh, let's get this one here. Got to be so on top of these, and I'm not so. My hands shake. Can you hear the rain? It sounds so beautiful. Oh, it's starting to turn. All right, it's starting to turn. I'm not gonna do any more. I'm going to do uh, clay for that one. I'll let it sit for a couple minutes, and then I'm going to grab this one. Uh, let's show the hostess some love. Yeah, let's show the hostess some love. <coughs> Thank you, Lulu, for doing that. Do you want to come on the panel? You haven't been on the panel in a while. I'm feeling up to it. I'm just using creative paper clay. We do have this in the store. We also have resin in the store for those of you guys that might want to need some resin. Okay, hold on. Give me a give me a second while I I find it that um the clay for this little tiny intricate, unless you have a little sprout, the clay is better, I think, because they're so tiny little intricate parts. It's really hard. I don't normally use my gloves for clay, though. I got to take my glove off. I can't stand it. Give me a second. Give me a second.
Not looking up, looking down. Thank you, Aristi. All right, let's try this big chain. Oh, we'll throw it in more. Oh, look, I got it. I got it spilled. I don't mind spillage. And you're probably wondering if you're altering a book, why are you doing it? Well, because I'm going to use these pieces for the book. That's why. a second I will get that link for you Lulu Lulu does everyone call you and your family Lulu I guess I can ask you that when you're on the panel I know, everyone's missing her. She's like, MIA. For this, if you're impatient, you can probably just leave it right in the mold. I'm gonna leave it probably in the mold. Just because if you're not impatient, it, it kind of, it's so tiny and delicate. I don't know how they do that with fondant, but I'm gonna let it sit for a little bit there in the mold. And you can clean it up. I'm, I'm not worried about perfection at this point, only because I know I'm gonna be distressing it anyway, making it rusty. Rusty, crusty. All right. I'm just going to let that one sit aside, and then we'll pull it out later. Move along. Move along. Just don't waste too much time on this. I just wanted to show the ladies that got that one, that one pennant. Ooh, it might be hard to get out. Uh-oh. Yep, might be hard to get it out. Probably don't want to do what I'm doing. Clay. Clay it is, guys, unless you get a really good releasing agent. That's what I recommend. Unless you get a really good releasing agent. But don't wait too long to pull it out. If you don't have a good releasing agent because it's kind of soft still and I could cut it out but I got too much light you'll see it once it gets black <clears throat> but just get a really good releasing agent guys <clears throat> and don't wait to it um, it's really really hard do it within as soon as you see it getting white, start wiggling it out. <clears throat> see, like this is still soft, so I can it's still pliable, so I can still shape it however I want. That's because the mold is thin. Here, Lulu, on Facebook, or Lourdes. Everyone's been calling you Lulu, and I've always called you Nena, or Lourdes, not Nena, Lourdes, or Nena, mostly Lourdes. And oh. 
Oh, my stomach is growling. On Facebook, Lulu, Lulez, Lulu, Lulez, Lulez, Lulu. All right, let's trim this. And this perfect little scissors are perfect. Which reminds me, Ito has some scissors he needs to return to me. Mm-hmm, that boy. I can't stay too long, but I'm gonna go cook chicken wings. Eric wants to eat chicken wings. What time is it anyway? I gotta keep track of time. Oh, Lourdes is in the back. Hey, Hi, everybody. Miss you. Not, we all miss you, too. Do not let me get off of here no later than 4.30, okay? Because I got to go cook the chicken wings. Okay. 4.30. Hi, the latest, the latest I can stay. I miss you, guys. Hey, everyone's been asking, where's North is? I'm, I'm, uh, I'm, I'm, uh, what do you call it? I'm on temporary mommy duty. You're on temporary mommy duty. That's okay. That's good duty. Yeah. Oh, I want to fill this one up. Oh, my God. I got my sister here. I think I got, I got her, I got her hooked on your laces, man. She got, she's hooked on laces. Hi, Jolly. Right there. Hola. Hi, <laughs> You got her crafting? That's good. She's going through my stash. She's going through your stash? <laughs> Somebody's got to use it, right? She, got, she likes, remember the little um, appliques? Uh-huh. So she's going to use some of those little appliques for a cake. Oh, good. Yeah. Quilt, my God, I've never done a quilt. Oh, boy. One tray that I've never done. Okay, hey, Lizzie. Hey, Claire. How are you, hon? <laughs> All right, let's clean up. I am going to definitely use a wing. I had originally done <clears throat> using scrap and eat chipboard wings. Very, very thin. Scrap and is extremely thin. And I used these chipboards that were from a die cut that I bought from someone, and I had to double them up. So we're going to alternate that. We're going to alternate these chipboard pieces that are from Scrap and Eat. They're just too thin for my liking. Um, and when you're messing around with them, they break easily, and I don't have patience for that. So we're going to... Put yourself on hold, please. Oh, that'd be it. You can barely hear Lulu. Yeah, because we have the kids here. Oh, because she's got, yeah, she's had to mute out the kids. All right, so we're just going to go in. And, but you guys saw, you can do it. You can do it, okay? Just make sure you do it, you flower it up or use a good releasing agent. And as soon as it starts turning white and it's still soft and pliable, start peeling it off, okay? Don't wait too long. Otherwise, it's going to be a pain in the booty to remove. All right. Moving my gears of the stuff that I am, I'm probably going to use these. These are from the mold I showed you guys earlier that I got from Amazon. I will give you guys a link. I just bought these from Amazon. I think this was like $12.99. I'm not sure. Oh, my God. It's a hinge. I love these little molds. Um, but I'll give you guys the links to that in the group. All right. So we're probably going to use one of these hinges, and this is, I do know I'm going to use this. So we're going to move what I'm going to use, that I'm not going to use, that I will use, that I will use, that, 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 that. <clears throat> these I will use. Okay, here's the book. So, um, I think everyone said, everyone, I got plenty of these books, and I know that you just ordered something from me. You want me to put one of these books in for you? I have no problem. To do that but you're gonna have to remove the body of the book <clears throat> and <clears throat> excuse me 
Let me go get a book. I can't show you how to remove the book if I don't have a book. So let me run and get a book. Yeah. I don't have a book. 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 I don't have a I got the grandkids with me, everybody. If you hear a little uh, like jibber jabber, that's, that's the young one. Yeah, Evelyn, if Evelyn is here, Evelyn Mendez. I did not see it, not. Okay, so these are encyclopedia books that I bought at the Goodwill oh God, a couple years ago. They're very good stuff. Um, hold your, we'll take your exacto knife carefully. You want, if it's stuck to the spine, kind of carefully go in there. And then just take your exacto knife once it's weekend. And it releases easily. There you go. Frank Garcia. Hey, hi, Miss Penny. You turned up the phone. What happened? No, she couldn't hear me. Oh, yeah, you had a static on your end. So just remove that. This is good for other stuff. Like, I like her. I'm going to use that. Uh, Jamie, the other one, I don't know the other one, Lizzie. I don't know what you guys are talking about, so I can't uh, help you there. Um, the the kid's name. Giovanni, what? The kid's name. Giovanni and Penelope. The what? The nombre de los nene. Ah, de tu nieto. Yeah. Ah. She, didn't she didn't understand me in English. I had to switch to Spanish. <laughs> I'm tired. So we'll take a minute. Yeah. You know, guys, sometimes the Spanish, I was just talking to family in Spanish, and the Spanish was in my mind. So I have to turn off the Spanish when I talk. When I talk to start talking in Spanish. Oh, yeah. I pulled that up. That's okay. Anyway, you can use these pages, and we will. Um, Lu, uh, if Evelyn is here, I'll send her one of these up to her. All right, let's get this cleaned up. Y'all know I get paranoid about messes on my desk. All right, so I cut out, based on the inside of my book, I cut out some denim, which is what I did on the other one. I stitched around. You. Yes, I am. Say hi to the lady. You come in here. And I'm live, you have to say hi and loud. Hello. Hi, how are you doing, Mom? White House? White House? No. White House? No, but I had just thought that you could probably use. But you know what? You have like five of those scissors that you have not with you. Yeah. Take some of this desk and just put a little bit, a little bit. White just so. It's like white out. Just a little bit. Okay, so you want to measure, but you don't want to apply this yet. So you want to measure the um, the inside cover, and then you, I cut this is from Brianna's denim jeans. I stitched around. I will fray because I like the fray look. Then I have a four inch by the same length um, piece for the. Um, spine because we're doing a hidden. So this is going to go in like that. 
our, our um, signatures will be sewn to this one. And then these will cover, will cover that signature like that. I like, I like. Like that, okay? So that's, that's that whole concept. You can use whatever fabric um, you want. You can use an entire, if you have it flat, you can measure the entire surface um, of your inside of the book. The problem is, is that if you're gonna do the hidden, you're gonna need something for your spine and it's easier if you have a smaller piece. I just cut a four inch by the, the length of the inside, okay? So everybody's book is different. All right, so let's start with some black gesso. You sent Miss Patricia the link, awesome, okay, good. All right, so we'll just do the outside first and then we'll just work on the inside. Now you also are gonna want some coffee dyed paper, some old paper, music notes, whatever you guys have, old scrap paper uh, that you have laying around, you're gonna use some of that scraps for your pages. Again, this is not my idea. I was inspired by Finnabar. Anna, if you guys know who she is, um, she's the creator um, behind these wonderful products that um, we use and love so much. So I encourage you guys to check out her Patreon. I put it in the description box, her Patreon, and you do get to learn a lot of her techniques if you join and sign it for her. So this is something I was inspired by her. This is not my creation, not my idea. Did you buy the whole set of encyclopedias? I bought what was, oh, this, I, I got this like a couple years ago and I used, um, I used the pages. I had it as decor actually. I've distressed the pages as much as I could and I had it in my living room and I didn't want to go out and buy any more books. So I said, you know what, I have those already. So let's use what we have. So I've been taking it from my home decor. <laughs> Repurpose, repurpose. Yeah, repurpose. But no, I didn't buy the whole set. I bought what was available at the... So how's life with having kids all the time all around you again? I want to have a Calgon moment. And away. <laughs> I may I may start drinking. <laughs> Go ahead. Yay. Yeah, it's 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 a different yeah. No. I I I'm I'm glad I'm done. Um, um hi Seema, she's asking what kind of mat are you working on? This is a craft mat. I just ordered this from um, Dress My Craft. Dress My Craft. Um, it's a craft mat that they have, but Tim Holtz has one um, as well. I just found this one to be a little bit bigger and a little bit thicker than the Tim Holtz one. It's a lot thicker. Um, so I just got this in um, last week when I had an order come in of products. I didn't order any for the store for the simple reason that I figured a lot of people can go in and I know you can't probably, but I have to place an order. So if you need one, let me know. I'll place an order for you. I can't remember how much they were though. I'll have to look up the price. My my mat got cut up because it was used by Brianna and the, all the kids. And so, do you have them all the time, Lulu? Yes. They've been here. The, the Liberation Day is Tuesday. Oh, my God. Is that when your son is off from work? No, that's when he's off quarantine. Oh. Then they can go back. What is this, are you? What was that? 
Pobrecita ahí. Yeah. Y Miguel, pobrecito. Sí, no sé si aquí es la one. Okay, I'll get one in. I gotta place an order. Um, and so I'll get one in for you. It's a lot thicker than the Tim Holtz because I had the Tim Holtz a little bit more flimsier. So. And then I got some Dollar Tree placemats underneath because I don't know what kind of mess I'm going to be making. And my desk is white. He's doing okay. I'm just going to going through the quarantine class. I'm going to the start of the all over again. I'll continue, I should say. That's why I have the children, because he has to stay away from everybody. Can you hear me with my kid, my kid on? Say it again. I said, uh, I'll just keep asking me how my daughter-in-law was, man, because she's doing well. She's finishing up the quarantine, and let's keep over with that. She's continuing with her kid on. Oh. Did you guys hear her? Her daughter-in-law, once she finished care, uh, quarantine, carotene, I don't know why I said carotene. Once she finished quarantine, she's going to continue with her chemo. Yeah, you will need some eyelids for this. You know, what, you know what it is? It's not my mic. I think it's the fan that's going in this direction and catching the... Fan. Oh, yeah. Let me move it. 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 It's because of the fan. I can't turn them off for me and everybody else. No, you don't suffer, King. Yeah, she died. Yeah. I'll try it louder. You said, uh, dress my craft, yeah, dress my craft mat is, um, what size is that young suit? Because you have a mat. What size is it? I don't know if you threw away your packaging. I guess I can measure it, too. Hold on. So it's about 18... I found one that is 15.1 by 1.4 by 15, I think. 15 by 18. All right, so we do the outside. I guess I should dry that up better. That. And do the size, because y'all know we got to cross our T's and dot our I's. Oh, that looks nice. Uh, May, what was it you? It's Finnabar what paint? What is that you um, mean? This is the Finnabar Heavy Duty, Heavy Gesso, Black Gesso. Heavy yeah. Gesso, Black Gesso, yes. Heavy Duty. Uh -huh. <laughs> the Finnabar Heavy Gesso, Black. Somebody right. kept that coffee cup. Something else is in there aside from the coffee. I think so. I think so. That or the lack of sleep. I barely sleep. Uh, yep. Uh, I mean, getting out like super early, and then I have I toss and turn all night. Yeah, and uh, it's hard to sleep with the kids too when they're sleeping in the bed with you. Young Sue says fifteen by eighteen. Yeah, yeah, fifteen by eighteen. Like that. Fifteen by eighteen. And you want to do the inside? I just kind of did the outer edges. Because all this is going to be kind of covered up. Aristia uh, in Pennsylvania at 2 in the afternoon, or May in Texas is 1 58. Yes, and we got to keep track because I got to go cook at 4 30. I got you over here. 
Otherwise, me van a romper la olla con todo en la cabeza. Me van a romper, me van a romper los cascos con la, con la olla. It's 10 p.m. or it will be. So this is such a snack then. 10 p.m. Yeah. Not at 10. That's too late for snack. Not at night hours. When's Miguel starting school? About two weeks. He's got to go in early to. Are they going to stay in the dorm? Yeah, he's got his own room. He's a resident advisor now, so he's got his own room. Because Uso, they, 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 um, Uso's dorm team was canceled. The what? They canceled the college? The dorm, not the college. They're going to do it online. Oh. I told you they're going to do that in a lot of places. Yeah, they, he's still private, so the school's going to open. That's and then and until they they have to change. Wow. You know, if things get worse. So I, I, I expect him to come back. I expect him to come back early. And finish online. Yeah. Ethan was excited though. He said, you know. <clears throat> yeah, it's his first year. Excited. Nani's going to do online too. And she's going to knock out her generals. <clears throat> Good, yeah, get the generals out. But the yeah. precautions they're taking, they got to do the temperature three times a day, and every time they change buildings. They have to wear a mask, they have to wear the, the what do you call it, the visor thing, the screen thing in front of you. And, uh, yeah, they, they, they got it, and they're doing, it's going to be hybrid. They're not going to be in class all the time. They go, I think it's once a week or twice a week to the class, and then the rest of the time is going to be online. Hi, Miss Patricia. <coughs> Well, at least you and your sister keep each other company. Yeah, she's gonna be here for me. Uh, she me out. I got a couple hours sleep. I guess we take a shower today and eat. Por lo menos tienes ayuda, un poco de ayuda, por lo menos, coño, porque con todos estos muchachos, uy, Dios mío. Tú tan chiquitito todo, que es lo más peor. The mother had much more for her children. That's why she's here, she's escaping. We're all our grandma duty. You know, you know, when we were when we had our little one, we can manage. But when you have other people's kids, it's not the same. No, nope, it's not. But you know what? Even if you're a grandma, I don't think it's they, the same. they still get the chocolate apple if they need it. Yep. Even if it's your grandkids, I don't think it's going to be the same because for love, you know, some parents don't like their kids to be same. Oh, oh, my kids, no. Oh, you my kids, kids, no. If, if you give me your kids, they're going to be treated the way I raised you. Take it or leave it. Yeah. I told my kids the same thing. Y'all ever drop those kids? They're going to be uh, pa pow. <laughs> <laughs> Expect it to come. Yeah. Uh, they don't be sugar coated. Well, they, they, they've gotten a few of them. Gio more than anybody. Huh? Gio's gotten a few pa pows. Has he? <laughs> and not travieso. Yeah, he's challenging. He <laughs> likes to challenge. Va a ser más, más, más hold, hold on. Yeah, más travesura. Especially when he's quiet. That's when we gotta worry. Patricia says, still hurting, but I'm sitting here on a heating pad. I need to be around my lady. That's yes. right. I, I, I was hurting too, Miss Patricia. That's why, I, I mean, I wasn't hurting with like your pain. Like, I know you got your, your fibromyalgia and your arthritis. My stomach pain. My stomach has been acting out really bad. Well. My son and his wife come in. What's that? My son, my son and my daughter-in-law are with the upset stomach and running to the bathroom. That's how I am. I, I think it's, <clears throat> I don't know if it's something I've eaten. Yep. It's making me sluggish. 
But I always have problems with my stomach, so. So then we're going to get our crocodile and we're going to put a hole and some eyelets. But this is a this thing, okay, no matter how, what it's called, you know, yep, what is it? Yep. Young kids giving out all my IDs. Jordan, aka Nana, aka Lulu, is on the panel today. Okay. Aka Lulu. <laughs> Gio, is that he could be the and he's arguing with her? Yes. No way. He's got, he's got one chance. That was it. <laughs> How old is he? Two and a half. What? You need to record that crap. You need to record that. All right, yeah. I, I, I did the center punch. I'm going to do it center. Yeah, Patricia, I have to plan for if I'm in an apartment, and if I turn that fan off, you can, then you know, call my one one and send you out to the I What are you doing? Come here, dear. No, come here. <laughs> he is he is determined ladies to get away with whatever he thinks he can get away with. Yeah. You wanna see boss baby? You wanna see boss baby? What happened to your tablet? I don't know. Um, you wanna see my gringo? If you switch the camera, we may Okay, hold on. Gringo. Aww. Aww. <laughs> Why you been such a funny lady? Be nice, be nice. You're cute. Yeah. Are you giving your grandma a hard time? Gio. Are you being a good boy or a bad boy? You're gonna be be nice. Say hi. Are you be nice? Mm. Do you know who the Do you know who the kid is? Gio. Gio. Gio, do you know who the Cuco is? No, he don't know the Cuco. Oh, girl, you need to teach him the Cuco. He has night terrors. We can't tell him about the Cuco. Oh. He wakes up screaming in the middle of the night like bloody murder. Yeah. There you go. Yeah. He's got to <laughs> All right, put yourself on full screen. Yep, good. Paciencia, mujer, paciencia. Okay, so we got the eyelids in. Um, Look, everybody's saying you're cute. You say thank you? Say thank you. We lost them. We lost them to the to the cartoons. He's no longer interested in us, ladies. What's wrong with you, Dio? You don't find us interesting enough? No, he's, he's gone. He's sitting on my lap. He's totally ignoring you. Gio, I don't appreciate you ignoring us ladies. We got to have a conversation, Gio. Nope, he ain't having any. I'm watching my I'm watching my shows. Gio, what the heck are you watching? What are these things? I don't know. It was bouncing something when I, when I found it. It looks like a piece of chocolate melting. Okay, that's something that's going to change. Gio and I have to have a conversation. Gio. Oh, Gio. All right, this is um the Tim Holtz little um, what I use for my base here. Oops. Um, I had some of this here left over recycled. Um, so I use one of these for the base to kind of give it dimension, like right there. No, Don't make a mistake. Gio. You're so cute, but these are so flimsy, guys. 
Oh, oh this is another laser machine. Well, I don't even know. Studio graphics. Oh my God, this is like paper thin. No me gusta esa mierda. It looked, it looked like it when you were holding it that it was like flimsy. It is, it's like um, press like cord. It's, it's bad, yeah, it's real bad. All right, I'm gonna go ahead and I'm gonna go and paint it and then I'll, I'll glue it down. I didn't have anything else that could give it more dimension. And I had used a one frame already. Yeah, I gotta catch up with the lives. What's your sister saying? She goes, I missed a lot. She watched your last live. I didn't watch it. I was out helping Jose. I had to run out. So I left her watching you guys live. Oh, oh she's, uh, she's telling me, yeah, she's telling me you gotta watch. I said, yeah, yeah, I got a list of things I have to watch when I have peace. Ay, bendito. <laughs> yep. When she has peace, lady, she's gonna watch. Yeah. You know what that means? That's AKA for when the children are gone. Yeah. Four more days. Yeah. <laughs> Four she's more counting. Days. I'm hanging in I'm there. I'm definitely counting. I just got rid of four and I collected two more. <laughs> Where's Bebo? I don't know. Hold on one second. Shut up, Gio. ¿Cómo fue? Ese chiquito parece que multiplica por 20. Oh my God, yes. He doesn't stop. He is. He don't walk. He flies. <laughs> he, I said, across I, he flies. I said to her, I said, that little one, he looks like um, that he multiplies for 20 of them. Yeah. 20 kids. Yeah. All right, so you want something that will give you kind of a, I don't know. And that's what I did. You don't have to, but it's entirely up to you. I am going to do um, also some um, stenciling. So let me get stencil out. And I guess you know what I could have done. I could have stenciled and then painted, which was kind of stupid because that's exactly what I did. But... I forgot about the stenciling, actually, to be honest. No, So you want to stencil before you put your gesso. Uh oh, okay. You, you got to plug it. Okay. Hmm. No, she got me. <laughs> no, we're not going there. Why? Because we're over here. She doesn't let them get away with it, huh? All right, we're going to use this stencil. This is the circuit board. Um, Again, you would have wanted to do this before. I just kind of forgot about it. Patricia is asking me, is this book going to be grunge? Yes, it's going to be grunge. Yeah, you know, you guys know I don't like to do too pretty, pretty stuff. If it's not lace, it's grudge. Yeah. I don't do too many pretty, pretty stuff. Yes, you do. When you work with your laces, you I'm just using paper. texture paste right now from Pinnabar's collection. Yeah, yeah I, I just don't, I just don't normally get a, you know, I don't know. All right, I got my other granddaughter here. You want to see her? Yeah, give me a second while I. Yep, do what you got to do. You can could, you could see what I'm having. Let me say hi to everybody when you come on. There you go, guys. Put her on. Oh, I got to put my camera on. Sorry. There we go. This is my Princess Penny. Oh, what happened? Okay. And then YouTube's got to catch up. I'm watching it. There she goes. This is my Princess Penny. Princess Penny. Penelope. Penelope Rain. Aww. She she just turned eight. Look, the same. Hello, Miss Princess. 
Look, they're saying hi to you over here. I can't read. Oh, that, but you know your name. See, it says Penny. She said she can't read? Yeah. And oh, what grade is she in? She's in, what grade are you in now? Second? Third. Third. She's going to third. Yeah, she's uh, she could read, but little words. And she's looking at the chat, so it looks like a lot. <gasps> Look what they're saying. She's beautiful. Oh, my goodness. You are beautiful, Penny. <gasps> Look at that. Oh, she's beautiful. And they're saying hello. She's <laughs> she is beautiful. Yes, she is. Are you having fun at your Lala's house? Say no. No. Mm -hmm. No? Is she strict with you? She's actually pretty good. Yeah. She gets bored. I don't have, we can't go to the park. There's, now why? There's no, because it's closed. Oh. No pools. Nothing, no, can't go to any of the indoor kid stuff because that's closed. Oh, they like your name. Look. Yeah, they should. See a penny picking up and all the day you have to look. I said that since you the day you were born. Yeah. I think she's a good girl. All right, May, go full screen for you. Okay, hold on. Everybody saw my Miss Penny. Te parece mucho a Nene. Or yep. Nene te parece mucho a ella. Mejor decir. Yeah. Oh, boy, yeah. Like her. Yeah. yeah. And they all look like the mommy. She has strong jeans. Okay. Why don't you go? Watch your movie. Yes. Okay. Movie time. Yeah. Go ahead. Movie time, she said. Yeah. <laughs> Le dijiste algo magico. You said you yeah. said something magical to her. Yes, movie time. Tablet time. All right, we're gonna use this one. And this is layout from Stamperia. Stamperia. Oh, I, 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 I feel like an Aztec feel with that. An Aztec? Yeah, I don't know why. Must be the the shapes. I think it's because it's more of a circuit. Like um, I don't know. I think they were I trying to more, more um, circuit board thing. Yeah. Oh, no. The electrical. The other, the other granddaughter. She's in Florida no, with her grandfather. I don't want that. Go away. She comes back uh, next the month. Oldest? The oldest, yes. Yeah, he takes her every summer. Do you miss her? Huh? Yeah, she's 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 got another one that can get into trouble. Yes. Do they miss her? Her brother and sister. Yes, they they Facetime. Oh, puppy, you tired? Why don't you go take a happy? All right, so I use the paper texture paste from Tinnabar, and now I'm gonna just keep that. I'm gonna put my stencil in the sink though, because otherwise it's gonna harden up. Uh, Penny, I have six grandchildren. Um, I would have had seven, but my daughter lost one last last October. Okay. Nobody needs to hear all this with your tablet, so why don't you go over there with Titi? Titi? Just be careful from the chair. Yeah. Hi. Hi. I like circles, so I'm going to use Tim's over here a little, right? Okay, I'm going to I'm Disney. Okay, I'm just gonna sit. I don't want that loaded. Okay. Okay, yes. Yeah. At... She just moved that out like two minutes so she did that. What? That's no, that's a uh, stencil. That's what I'm saying. And she's going over with the medium to get it textured. Yeah, that's what I'm saying. Yeah, it's stenciled on. Yeah. Um, and then she's gonna cover that. Now that she stop. What is she using? What is that? Um, that's matte medium, right? May you're using? I'm using a textured paste. Texture paste. Okay. And this is a Tim Holtz stencil. Buford, the sheriff is in town. How oh, you missed it. Here we are, Oh, Buford. Oh, Buford. Oh, Buford. 
How you doing, Sheriff? Where'd you go? Where'd you go? Wait, hi, did she freeze? Did it freeze? No, no, she she went to get something. Oh, okay. So just remember, she said it's raining over. How are you feeling? And how's your son, Buford? <laughs> Stop bending. You have to bend these things. Yeah, but I just cut it. Then you can all right, sorry, I kind of wash my stencils. Hi, Buford. We're waiting to hear. We asked about his son and him. He yeah, said, how old is your son? He says, doing good, gonna go do another paranormal video this weekend. Oh. Oh, you're the normal That's uh, Sheriff Buford T. Peters. He does paranormal. He does everything. everything. I love all that stuff. I love paranormal. Where is he going? I have no idea. How's your son, Buford? I think I'm going to get a little All right, I'm going to go back in with the gesso. We really wanted to, to do this before you put the gesso down. I just kind of forgot. I wasn't paying attention. Y'all know I get distracted easily lately more than never. Jenny says, May that look so cool. Thank you. I think this part is the easy part. It's the stitching of the paper that was like the longest part, I think. What? Regis Philbin died? What? Who? Regis Philbin. Really? Oh. Who's that? He's uh, the guy from, what was that show with Kathy Lee Gifford? No way. Yeah, the guy. No, well, it's Kelly and Ryan's show now. Yeah, it's Kelly and Ryan's show now. Oh, wow. I know she's going to be freaking out. 88 years old. Didn't she accuse him of, of uh, sexual harassment, though? No clue. I think I think she did. Okay, Buford's giving his taxes. My son went to the hospital Tuesday before last. Finally, he has an infection in both legs where he broke the gear shift with his legs and wasn't able to walk this past Wednesday. He went back to work. Woof. Wow. Is he taking advice? Is he listening to you at least, Buford? You look 
some really good people this year. Yeah. And he says nope. No advice, huh? Mm -mm. Hard headed. As all boys are. This is a boy. This is a grown man. That's what I'm saying. Doesn't matter. He's a boy. <laughs> May. Huh? I'm gonna go. I'm gonna sign off. Okay, Mina. Uh, I'll talk to you later. Bye. Bye. All right. Bye, everybody. Bye. Bye. Thanks for joining us. Have a good one, everybody. No precautions, huh? You know what? Eventually, Buford, he's going to learn. He will learn eventually. Maybe not now. You know, maybe not 10 years from now, but eventually he will. My brother's learning the hard way. Now he sees what he did to my mom through his kids. What he did to my mom, his kids are doing to him. He doesn't talk to me only, I only find out through his mom. So where are you doing your paranormal, um, you for? Just there around Georgia, is there like some really freaky stuff that you guys are picking up? I like listening to that kind of stuff. All right. Okay, I'll put that there. And now it's time to build layers. And for that, we got um, put that there. I have a piece of denim that I cut up. This is the layering process. Where's my little piece of denim?
There's two. Oh, that's got to be interesting. That's really got to be interesting. That's got to be super interesting. Let me get my other pieces of chipboard. I really don't like these scrap and ink, but I don't have any other chipboard right now, so we got to use these scrap and ink ones. Let me find my other chipboard pieces. I'm going to use these. And this is from the store. I have these in the store, these little clogs. Cogs, not clogs. Might need to move this one. Yeah, and I'm not a fan of this. Um, see how thin they are? They're just like, ugh, extremely thin. But right now, it's all I have going. I'm just going to layer this one up. And use it as my frame. I was going to use that one for dimension. So I'm going to find something smaller for dimension backing. Sorry, I'm not looking at the chat. I'm not looking at the chat whatsoever, guys. Oh, you already have one video of a paranormal. I'll have to look at that if you prefer. I'll do it. We'll do it there. Hold on. Give me a second. Yes, I got a lot of stuff on my desk. I got to see, I don't know about you guys, but I got to see all my stuff when I'm working. I'm a messy crafter, and then I'm banging myself in the head. Now, this is from a kit that I had gotten. I didn't like the whole concept of it, so I decided I'm not, I've used the pieces for something else. 
So we're going to build based off of these pieces that I got from this kit dimensions. Remember, guys, keep me on track. Got to go cook dinner. So first we build. And like I said, this, this here that I'm using are the pieces from the shabby something kit that I had gotten. And I decided not to build that well, for whatever reason. I didn't like it. And so what we're doing is using, see how thin this scrap and ink stuff is? It's like super thin. So it came with all this stuff on the same way. And we're just going to use what's on this kit to build something else. Um, I like to build it and then try to get an idea whether or not that's how I want it to go. Move this one here. I exchange it for this one. Love the arrows. They came in that kit. I, I got this kit from Scrap uh, Hobbylicious. Um, didn't like the kit, and so I decided to build something else. Once you got an idea of how you want this whole thing to go, then you just start building on to that concept. So I'm going to start gluing down because I know pretty much this is the base of what I want. So I got an idea of what I want. And I'm going to go ahead and glue this one down to this. I'm going to glue that down to this, but I'm going to paint this black. Some people say, why don't you use black resin? I, the reason is because even with the black resin, it gives it like a shine on it and I don't like it. So I'd rather have just, you're still gonna have to go buy with gesso, so. So that it takes all the other mediums that you're about to apply on it. 
So I don't like it for that reason. All right, so let's go ahead and remove these. I know I want those there. I'm gonna go ahead and paint these. Glue this down. this down. It is a messy job. I, you know, this reminds me of Miss uh, Carol. She used to say, that's too messy for me. It is messy. Very, very messy. If you don't like messes, then I don't recommend you do this kind of work because this is extreme messy. Like right now I'm, I'm I've got a mess on my desk. But it's very pretty once it's done. So I'm just using a gel medium right now. And I know that some, I'm probably repeating myself for some of you guys that um, know this stuff already. And that's okay. Um, this is just for those that don't know what I'm using. I'm using a 3D matte gel from Prima. And... Um, I don't recommend you use like a hot glue, hot glue gun or um, you want something that's going to stick and adhere to your surface. And that's part of the reason why you also want to make sure that, um, and I could have glued it all down and then done the gesso. Um, yes, you could have. I just like to get into all those knit and grit, all those little nick and crannies. So I tend to do it individually, but it's a personal preference. Some people like to glue it down and then they go through with their gesso, but I'm the one that likes to stop my eyes and cross my teeth. Yeah, did you see that? I put, I grabbed the wrong one. I know you guys didn't see that. But you did put my paintbrush in the wrong one. I can't see the chat. So I'll just have to wait. If you have a question, make sure you put it on all caps. I put my paintbrush in the wrong on the desktop part. I'm not really worried about grunginess at this time because I like the grunginess. And then we're gonna go on.
I'm going to leave that one alone. I'm going to change my paintbrush. I'm not sure what you guys are saying. I need to change this paintbrush. These again, this is from the Hobbylicious kit. I didn't really like the whole concept of the kit. So after I bought it, it was like, ooh, yeah, no. So we're using it for something else. And I'm very sloppy when I craft. I don't know if you guys are. I make the biggest mess ever. I like to see everything. <sighs> I hear saws, guys, and I don't know about you guys. I hear saws and I think of my dad. Not that you guys are thinking about my dad. But I hear sauce and I think immediately of my dad. Like the other day I was here, I was smelling sawdust and it reminded me of my childhood growing up in Puerto Rico smelling sawdust. I don't know why, but I was. Am I still on here? Can you guys see me? No one's chatting. We are all watching. Oh, okay. Just making sure. I'm going to finish up probably really fast here and then go cook. Go cook dinner. People has to eat. One down. Let's paint this one.
No, I'm not painting the dean black. No. It'll have some bits of black in there, but not all of it. Oh, ma'am. 248. Awesome. Thank you for keeping me on track. I'm peeling everything. A messy crafter, that's what I am, the messy, slow crafter. Now we got this one. I'm kind of cautious with this one because it's so flimsy and I hate the flimsiness of these. Oof. Do I ever forever hate the flimsiness of these? It's so super flimsy. I'm off over here just kind of doing, I'm not doing anything special. But. You know, some people like to clean up their little glue webs in the glue messes that they leave on this gel. I find it to be more textures. I don't typically worry about that. I don't be putting in other things. Well, that was not short-lived rain. It didn't rain too much, guys. It really sucks.
I think we got like maybe about 30 minutes, not even that of rain. And we need it. Miss Lady, you guys didn't get rain down there? Probably not finished. I don't think it's finished either now. I don't think the rain's finished. So I just just think that. Playing all these black. And then we're gonna go in with um, Um, waxes and I'm loving, I love the liquid acrylics. Those are my favorite. I love those. Paint the wings, clean off my brush a little. My messy, messy brush. Have you heard from Rose? We haven't heard from Rose. I wonder if she got rain. Think she got rain? This is going to be a part two, as you guys can tell, because somebody has to go cook. But at least I got the gears to finish up the, um, the little mini album that I wanted to do. Hey, Kristen, how are you? This had a quilting friend post that a hurricane to hit around 4 p.m. She lives in Corpus Christi. Watch out, May. You might just get some more rain. I know. That's what they're saying, that there's going to be something. There's something. That's, well, that's what Eric was telling me. Something brewing to come. I'm sorry. I'm just painting the gears and stuff like that with my gesso. Um, but, yeah, they're saying we're fixing to get something. I just, we really do need it. I think um, I like to get more tomatoes in. My gandules has needs rain. Hey, Miss Penny, how are you, hon?
coming, 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 coming. I try to paint out as much as I can because I'm not sure at this point how much and what we're all going to use. So I will, I sh should have painted it before we came on live, but you know, it takes the fun away. Put that down there. Looking to see what good companies out there for these chipboard pieces um, that I could order just for my own personal use, not for selling. Couldn't find anything that I could use. I'm over with Cooper this weekend. Oh, uh, I said hello, Cooper. Ronnie's not staying with you. No, Ronnie. No Ronnie this weekend. It's 3 p.m. Okay, I got an hour and a half to get off. I think I can do it. I think I can get this all colored up. The gesso all done. I'm, I'm sure you guys are getting bored of watching me gesso up. Get my hands all grungy. But I think we can do it. I think we can manage it. Again, these are all little pieces that I have from the some Prima molds, Katie Sue molds that I got from Amazon. The Katie Sue. She's based off of the UK, actually. Ronnie's at work and Cooper said hi everyone. Never bored watching you. Oh, at least at least I don't feel bad. I don't know why when I saw Ronnie, you guys remember the um, boys, to, was it boys to men or um, Ronnie, Johnny, Mickey and Mike? Who was that? New edition, that new edition. Ronnie, Johnny, Mickey and Mike, something like that. I'm going to go ahead and paint this, even though I don't think I'm going to use it, but I'm going to head just in case in the event that I decide to use this little latch from Katie Sue's molds. I'm going to go ahead and put some gesso on it. My gesso brush is disgusting right about now, and so are my hands. Now, Miss Penny told me her boyfriend's brother were Johnny, Ma, Johnny and Ma, um, Johnny, was it Johnny, Mike, Ricky and Mike? No, John, Ronnie, Johnny, Mick, oh God, I can't even get it right. Johnny, Ronnie, Mickey and Mike, I think it was. I could ever get it right. These are from the front of bar, I think this one is. Little bolts and screw heads. Could clean my hands off. 
but why when I still got my hands all over Jesso, right? Right, right, right. Tell me I'm right. Tell me I'm right. Or tell me I'm wrong, better yet. One screw. Where's my baby wipes? Got all dry. Who do I blame? I blame the one called Mae Larson because she didn't, she didn't run. That close, you're not close, you're not close to Corpus Christi, are you, Miss Jamie? I'm not, I know I'm not. I mean, I'm only like two hours away. You're wrong. I'm wrong. Johnny, Ronnie, Mickey, and Mike. Is it, is it new edition? Boys to men? Which is it? Boys to men. I'm cleaning my hands out, guys, because you all know I get paranoid about that. Oh, hi. Welcome, Bonnie. Hi, y'all. Never been here, but meeting goodness and light right now. In other words, glad you made it live. Oh, welcome, Bonnie. Welcome, welcome. Normally, we are very talkative. Today, we're kind of quiet here. Mm -hmm. The ladies here are very talkative, typically. But welcome, welcome. Glad you could catch us live. Well, I hope we can cheer you up for whatever it is that you're going through. I know people are getting stir crazy with the quarantines and all the mumble jumble going around in the world. All righty, let's see what we got going on. I'm gonna go there, I'm just kind of mess that up. Then we're gonna do, do that down. I don't know, my husband, I think he's making some signs downstairs of life that somebody needs to go cook. Who needs 
wants to eat, right? Why is it, why is it, you know, there should be a law against cooking dinner. I think so. I think that when we're all crafting, not, no shearing up needed, just needed a break from reality of deep cleaning before. Oh, well, I hope you're doing well. Um, we'll definitely pray for you for your surgery. When's your surgery? Kids, they're getting yelled at. They're not doing their chores. Probably need to paint the back of Dinner. Thank you, Penny. Kids must not have done their chores. Normally we are a fun group, but today everyone seems quiet. Yeah, everyone seems quiet. I think it's just the weather. We're all just quiet. We're all just chilling. And sometimes it's good to be quiet. Sometimes it's good to just focus on what you're working on. It's good to be quiet sometimes. I will say that much. It is. No one wants to crack jokes today. Everyone's being serious. Unknown, but within three weeks, spinal cord stimulator to help with extreme nerve pain. Trial was successful, so now wait for the realigning, but all is beautiful. Oh, good. Well, I hope it goes well for you. We'll definitely keep you in our prayer, Bonnie. Everything goes spectacular and planned goes as planned and you have a speedy recovery so absolutely we get our prayers declare that in the name of jesus Look at my tabletop. You would think that this is like incredibly disgusting, massive, massive mess. Oh, Bonnie, we will pray for you. And a lot of the ladies, like Miss Patricia, I know she's been going through some serious pain. But hers is fibro. Um, Miss Jen, uh, Jenny has, Jane, sorry. She also goes through pain daily. You wanted a clean house. I don't blame you. I'm the same way. Do you clean your house before you go on vacation or leave leave town? Because I know I do. Every time we're about to leave town, I clean, I massively clean my house. I don't know why. Maybe I think the when someone breaks in and they see my house a mess, that you know, that's gonna look bad on me. But I do, I clean my house before I leave town. All right, we're gonna glue this one down here. There. 
and I get some type of another kind of element here so it doesn't so look like it's all clashing. Some different type of element. I'm touching in with the gesso here and there wherever I may have missed some spots. I go Monday for a nerve block. Oh, oh that sounds so painful. It looks like a really hot mess right now, but once we get it going, guys, and start putting all the other elements on, it'll pop out better. I'm probably gonna add a pipe down here just because I want this here to have something to lean on. It's like lean on me, you know? Lean on me. When you're not strong, I'll be your friend. I'll help you carry on. All right. Never go on vacation. Uh, I never go on vacation even before. I just would like to clean house to my real standard, not my hand-induced hand -induced standard. Yeah, my lower back that is running into my leg now. Uh, see, I, I, I clean my house like a clean freak whenever I go on anywhere out of town. If I go out of town, even if it's like two days, I don't know. Maybe I think I have a thing. Someone breaks in my house. Maybe they'll see a mess and they're going to like, oh my God, that family's so messy. Yes, that's me. That's me. I'm that clean freak. You can see I'm cleaning up after myself as I create. I hear you, Bonnie. It's hard. Yes, it is. Very hard, very hard, very hard. Is it, I was going to say, is it her first procedure on this, but she, I think she said she had gotten something else done. All right, we're getting there. Fun part is when you start putting the magic begins when you start taking your waxes and going into town. That's the fun part, getting the waxes in there. Um, penny blocks are so just iffy. A little bit of the glue web that comes out, the seepage.
this over here. So we got to make sure that that little open edge is on. Una y otra vez, una y otra vez. Porque te extraño, yo también te extraño, no cabe duda. Duda, no duda. Uh, I'm probably going to leave it like that. I think that's good right there. All right. All right. All right. All right. All right. All right. Sure, you guys are getting tired of hearing and seeing. Oh, yeah. Found a home for it. I was determined to use this little piece. Stuff out all the seepage. I love what you're doing. I'm collecting for a steampunk journal. Awesome! Thank you. Punk journal. See, I got I use these molds. I'll show you. I got them from um Amazon. And they were like, I think this was $14.99, $12.99, something like that. But they were on Amazon. Very affordable. Very, very affordable for sure. About the most affordable. I'm gonna put that there. That would be very pretty. Steampunk journal. Okay, now we're going to put this screw head and then we're going to start probably putting in our waxes and I love the acrylic paint. So we're going to do acrylic paint and
I think that about does it. Unless I do this. We might do that just to kind of balance off um, balance it off a little so it's not so wonky. All right, so there is that compass, the little whole structure. We'll probably put a word in here somewhere once it's all metallic. We got all the metallics on. Um, but that's pretty much the whole structure there. The magic begins once we have this. We can go in and apply our, our waxes in all the other mediums. That's the fun part, I think. All right. I love Amber Albuquerque, New Mexico. Oh my God, I was thinking that, but I don't know you you well enough. I have a small jug sip from instead of using uh, marijuana. Hard, it's distressing, but you will find relief in the most unexpected way. Even relief from two hours out of 24 hours. Thank you, ladies. Thank you, thank you, thank you. <laughs> The magic actually, is, like I said, the magic will begin here shortly when you start seeing those metallic rubs going on. Oh God, that's when you see magic. The magic will come, it will come to life. I'm gonna go in and touch up with a little bit of more gesso here and there. And heat set it a little. All right, I'm gonna heat set it. And then we're going to Or four, Liquid pearl. I've never worked with liquid pearls. Um, but you can make your own metallic rubs. Um, you know, like crayon, a little bit of mineral spirit. Um, I've never worked with liquid pearls. I'm not sure. I'm not too familiar with liquid pearls. Um, I know Viva Decor has some rubs. Um, gosh. 
We can take some eyeshadow with some mineral spirit, some pigment ink, a little bit of a uh, bee wax. Make your own little rubs. Uh, shoe wax, too. If you can find that shoe rub, the stuff to shoe polish, I guess. Make something like that. You're trying to, you know, make your stuff out on a budget. Yeah, that'll work. Eyeshadow has a lot of pigment, so it helps. Um, so you want something with a lot of pigment on it. All right, so there we go. I'm going to grab my... Um, I call my magic crack in a bottle. See, my crack in a bottle. Um, I love this stuff. This stuff is like, ah, hallelujah. We're going to go in and hit uh, with some water. I'm just going to pour it right on my mat. Oh, you know what? No, I got this here. The black, that's burnt sienna, burnt sienna. And then you got ink black. These are the Finnabar um, liquid acrylics. And this is the tiger orange. I love this stuff. It just gives it a nice, and you don't have to use it. Small little bottles, but a little bit goes a long way. You don't have to use, I use more of the Carmine than any of the others. Hit it with a little bit of water. Kind of activate that. You can, with the water, it makes it more um, flowy. And so we're going to go in. I'm going to start with not like Carmine because we already got black down. Kind of gives it a nice little rusty look as well. And you can squirt it, get it flowy, flowy, flowy. Especially those chains. We want a nice color reaction from the chains. I'm going to go in with the tiger wood. Rub here and there. Tiger wood is kind of an orangey color. And I'm just dropping it because at this point I want a little bit of a thickage, thick. You really can't see the rusty effect, but you will hear in a minute. You'll start seeing it.
Well, thank you, Bonnie. We're going to go with that one is the textured paste and it is the color blue green. And we're going to go with copper, old silver. And we're going to go with some bronze. So let's go in with the bronze. Wait, I hear my stomach. I think it's time that I get to cooking, guys. My stomach is a growling. Sorry, I gotta reach over and grab a brush. Oh, we gotta get some more glue in there, huh? I guess we do. Magic begins. See? But these are the Finnabar bronze. This is the bronze oops, metallic art alchemy from Finnabar. Hey, Miss Michelle.
Let's see, even the little stencil marks that we put in, this stuff, you can see it. I'm just using the pin bar. I'm not going so particularly perfect. Three times a week. What's three times a week? You're late to the party. No, just kidding. You're late, Michelle. Same thing you use your fingers as you can use the brush. You can use your hand as a little palette to kind of get whatever's in there. Like this stuff is expensive, but it goes a little, goes such a long, long way. And it makes everything so pretty. Forty-six minutes. Ah, we're, it's going to be a definitely a part two. Definitely a part two. I don't think you guys will complain, right? Part two. But so far, this is what we have. See how that pops up really nicely. Oh my gosh, my stomach is like on, it's going crazy here, guys. It really is. And they're really good. Get to pick up all those nice details. Again, I'm still working with the bronze, and I still got some other colors I want to throw in here. So now, pull that back up. We're going to go with the silver, the old silver. I don't complain for part two. May, will you do more showing the pages you construct for the journal? Yeah, this is, this is what we're going to be. Uh, something similar to this is what we're going to do. We're looking for. Um, and I just, I did, you know, something simple. I didn't do anything elaborate. Um, I just did something really simple, simple um, for the construction of my pages. Now we're going to go in with the old silver. Again, I'm using my grungy fingers because it's, you know, the best tool God has given us in life. Let's go in with a couple little areas. Um, oops. It's stay in its place. I have to glue it down a little more. Go in gently, guys. That goes a long, long way. 
I'm notorious for always coming back thinking, oh, I need this, I need that, you know. And I have to sometimes walk away from something and just say, you know what, May? For some reason, I'm the grungy girl. I like it grungy, grungy. Make a journal. Always I feel I need to decorate. See, um, I, I'm the same way. I feel like I always have to decorate. But my problem is, Bonnie, I... I'm not a fan of doing more than four pages. So what I do with my journal, normally, typically, I don't keep my artwork. I normally, you know, give it to one of my friends or somebody, you know, that wants it. I normally give it to them and um, go from there. It's and so because I don't normally keep my journals or anything that I've made, um, I let them fill it out. So that's another option. You can leave them blank, you know, so that they can decorate. And now I have like, where's the one that we just did? Like this one, we just did a cute little album. Um, that one I did decorate. Um, well, that one's going to my daughter. I haven't done, finished decorating the front. Um, but again, it all depends on who's it for. But I don't typically keep my work. It'll go to somebody someday. Somebody will get it. Mm -hmm. So far, that's what we got going, guys. Perfect excuse, right? I think so. It's like I get bored after page number uh, four of decorating because um, I have ADD. And so I just, okay, we're going to go with tones coming down a little bit deeper here so the light looks like it's reflecting down here. Um, Sorry, focusing on this here. We'll just probably, um, as soon as I cook dinner, we'll probably, if you guys are up to it, we'll resume and try to work on part two, unless the kids have something else planned for me. Down here, so the light's reflecting down here. like this that's pretty cool I love it I love the way it's turning out again I'm in with the old silver and I believe we have it in the store in the shop. I'm trying so hard to replace a lot of these metal um, rugs. It's really hard right now with Karima, but we're working on getting some more in. I'm on cue, which means that when I'm on cue, they keep me on. All right, what do you guys think so far? I 
going to go in because I need to get in here just a little bit with this old silver. Going right in there with a paintbrush. And you can brush, wash off these waxes from your brushes if you're afraid of ruining them. I would always use, of course, old brushes, your finger, a stipple brush. Any stipple brush um, will work, but with soapy water, hot water, hot soapy water. That'll do the trick to get it off your brushes, okay? All right, so far, there we go. Oh, thank you, Miss Debbie, you're back. Jolie loves it, May, awesome. It says reguero, este desastre, se mira. You can see, you can, as, as you start putting in the waxes, you could really see um, what you're working on. And then you can come back in with a little bit of the liquid, um, Come in here and just kind of hit it in certain areas. Of course, the wax become, develops a little bit of a resistant with the acrylic, but that's okay. It just gives it a nice unique look. I hope to hear more about your journey. Oh, you're welcome here, Miss Miss um, Bonnie. Any any time, ladies here are very, very lovely ladies. Definitely, definitely, definitely. All right, we're gonna go with the burnt sienna now because I'm sure you guys are wondering when we use that burnt sienna. What am I using it now? Just here and there. Grab a big old glob of it. I'm gonna make this really rusty here. Go on with a little bit of water, get it glowy. You don't want if you want to get it flowy, you don't want to wait till it dries up. Good night, Miss Jolie says it's it has a medieval feel like Harry Potter snitch. Oh yeah, it does. It does. You're right. Thirty minutes, May. All right. Thank you for keeping me on target, Miss Janie. Jane keeps me on track. So when you're building these, it always looks kind of weird. You're like, why are you putting so many layers upon layers upon layers? Well, that's why, because you want to give it that dimensional um, 3D aspect of it. It gives it that mind blowing effect.
Good night, Miss Bonnie. Take care. I hope everything goes well with you and the surgery. Pray in the name of Jesus that he lifts you up in healing and fast recovery. What you guys think? What do you guys think so far? We've only done just a little bit. We haven't even gone in the copper or any of the patinas. What do you guys think? Totally different as opposed to this here. See that? Very different. But I'm loving it totally. Like, wow. It is super awesome. It, it's amazing, guys. And it's amazing how you can just take different labor, layers, different um, elements to create something that's dimensional like this and take a book that was just about to be thrown away. Um, and create something amazing. I will be putting some little bit of teal in it. Not too much teal. Not it's the patina blue that I'm going to go in with. Um, just not too much. Just a little. Um, just a little here and there. Um, just to give it a little bit of a color pop. Not too much. You don't want. I don't want too much of the blue. You don't want it to be overpowering. And I also don't want something that looks kind of like Aztec. I'm not going for an Aztec color, so it's not my intention with this. Like right there, I think I had too much and I don't care for it. So we're gonna cover it with a little bit of black. Like I don't want an Aztec a feel to it, you know what I mean? Like something really Aztec, but just a little bit of color pop, not too much. When in doubt, lift it up so you can get a good eye of to what you're putting down. Just a little bit of patina here and there. A little bit of here because I don't want this little knot here to be blue. Just a smidge, smidge. Yeah, just a little bit. I don't want too much blue on it. Just a little tad bit, just a little bit here and there. Like I said, I don't want something that looks last packed. So 
not the look that I'm going for, so. I'm gonna go in with the ink black and give it a little bit of a shadow effect on some of these little areas as well. Remember, we couldn't do this earlier because we had the black in there, the, the black gesso. But now that we have wax, this is kind of gives it a little bit of a resistance, but it's a nice, a nice resistant, I think. How am I with time? Do I need to go down and cook? All right. A little bit of a resistant there. I lift up. I like to lift up to see what I'm missing, what I'm leaving out. When you don't tap out, when you think that you got it, otherwise you keep going and going and going and um, I think that's good right there. I'm going with a little blue green texture and then we're probably gonna, I'm gonna break off Here, Eric, wondering where it's gonna. Less than 30 minutes, okay. I didn't put too much of that because I don't want just a little bit, just a little. All right. I think a little bit more of, let's go with bronze, just a little bit. No, no, let's go with the carmine. And I gotta go. This will be my last bada bing, bada boom. And I just go into those little blue areas because it's too fresh. You know what I mean? It's just like, mm, it's too bright. I like grunge and I don't like the brightness. All 
which you guys can do however whatever works for you like see you just go in there and tone it down a little so it's not so right at you you know i don't like it right at me We're gonna let that, um, I'm gonna go in here with a little bit up here. And up here. I'm going in with the black a little, We're following up with the carmine. And I'm going to do the other side. There's resistance on there. Okay, I'm gonna let that sit, simmer, and then I'm gonna go cook. And depending on what my kid's agenda is, we'll come back and do part two, okay? So I hope you guys like this. And it inspires you guys to create something similar, if not better. I will. I'm going to finish up here and then I'm going to go and cook dinner. Let this sit here. And hopefully, by the time I get back, it'll be all dried up and we can work on pages and whatever other little touches we need to do. But I think for the most part, I like the way it looks um and it's all a personal preference if you're comfortable how it looks um as you can see it's entirely different it's still grungy but it's entirely different than the other one that i had done um so just play around and experiment is all i can say Uh, thank you, Miss Patricia. May I'll be there for a curbside pickup. Okay. I did it in two hours and 46, and I did resin too. So, you know, hey, we did good. We did good. We did good. All right. So, pretty much, we got all this here done. I think it looks fabulous. I might come in with a little bit of uh, old silver and touch up the wings just a little bit to give it a little nice color pop and maybe over here on this little piece here. But other than that, I think it looks fabulous. I hope that inspires you guys to create something um, similar. And I'll see you guys in part two of this video. See you in a bit, guys. Hopefully in a bit if my kids don't have any other plans. Bye, guys. Thanks for joining. May, what time should we pick up dinner? Um, let's see, I'm doing chicken wings because that's what Eric wanted. So I have to boil it, then bo boil it, then broil it, then put it in a sauce. So boiling process, probably I would say 30 minutes. And the boy the broiler, sorry, boil broiler. I don't know, probably probably in an hour or two. 
Who know? I don't know. <laughs> anyway, guys, take care. See you in the next video. Bye.